intro. Yo, craziness. 53 man is finally here and there's some surprises. Let's talk about it. Yo, salute to everybody here in the building, man. Appreciate you guys for rocking with us as always. Welcome to our weekly show. You already know what the, the beast and the best talk show with Graphic Raider, my brother Hammerhouse. What's good, bro? Hey, 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 real quick before you say anything. You still haven't seen it, right? Nope. Okay, so I get to surprise you here. Hammer's in the building. What's good, bro? Not much, bro. What's going on? What's good, nation? So... Before we get into this craziness, and I guess everybody's saying that I can't hear me on your side. Oh, great. Yeah. So I don't I know have, why. I might, I might have to end it on my end and just jump on over to you, which I don't care. Bro, People I are saying they can hear me. I added you on on, on StreamYard. Yeah. Um, keep going, bro. You're good. Right. Just keep going. So <laughs> salute to everybody here, man. Appreciate you guys. This 53... There's some shockers, some shockers. Before we take our calls, we want to talk about this 53. So Hammer hasn't seen this yet. So there's some surprises, you guys. Let's talk about this. Salute to everybody still rocking with us, man. We were live for about five hours earlier, but we're here right now. I know Hammer's having some technical difficulties. He's always trying to use the OBS and, and step outside and do some other things. I don't oh. know why all of a sudden the shit is such a headache and a half, though, because I never had problems when me and Mike were doing shit, but I'm coming over in two seconds. All right. So before we before we do this, I'm going to wait for Hammer to jump over. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Make sure you guys wipe them feet. Hit that subscribe button, whether you're on Hammer's channel or over here at Oak Las Vegas Raiders Network. It does not matter. We just appreciate you guys for rocking with us. As always, we're going to put the phone number up here shortly so we can get your guys' calls, your takes on this Final press release that just came out for the 53 man roster. Um, I, I'm gonna be real, man. There's a few, there's a few guys here where I'm like, wow, like I just I didn't see this happening at all. Um, then there's some that were expected. Um, Ham, are you good to go right now? You guys can hear me loud and clear, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So we're good. We're good. All right. So let's let's start with the waived players, man. Salute to the 300 plus people in the building already. <laughs> This guy didn't even take up a roster, a roster spot. We already got rid of our international player. Um, our young pup out of Nigeria, mm -hmm. he was waived. We can still look at bringing him back on the practice squad, uh, squad blah, blah, blah. Matthew Butler, waived. Expected. I, I didn't expect yeah, this guy to make this team at all. McClendon Curtis, waived. What? Um, yeah, guard. Tennessee Ch Chattanooga, man. Waived. Oh, man. Um. And you're going to be shocked to see the guy who actually – I'll just tell you one guy that did make it, Jordan Meredith. Yeah. Well, isn't he – he's a center, right? Center, yeah. Yeah, they needed a backup center, so that I understand. I'm just hoping that McClendon falls to our practice squad. Um, tight end, Cole Fotheringham. Um, Saw that. We knew it was kind of up in the air with him and Jesper Horst did. It's not really a shocker. Um, Jaden Grant, safety. I'm out of Oregon State. Not a shocker. Tyler Hall did not make this roster. He was waived. Now so, I want to know what the cornerback room is looking like. It's going to get a little. It's going to get a little tricky here in a minute. Aziz Hearn, we know. We talked about that earlier. Oh, um, he made it. No, no, no. He was waived. Oh, okay. <laughs> My boy, sincere McCormick was waived. Um, the writing was on the wall. Let's just keep it a buck. Bullshit. Um, I expected it to happen. It is what it is. Hopefully, he falls back to the practice squad, and uh, we can run it back with him. Um, Natay Moody. Cut, I mean, waived. Um, 
Adam Plant waved. Um, the UDFA, the tight end, John Samuel Shaker waved. Um, George Tarlis, we talked about him. We talked about Drake Thomas. We talked about Sam Webb. All these guys were waved. These guys right here are a different set of guys. These guys are released. So these guys right here, I'm hoping that some of these guys will fall to the practice squad if they don't pick up respective jobs elsewhere. Alex Bars was released. Yay! Um, we, we wanted that to happen, right? <laughs> um, Keelan Cole Sr., we talked about that. We talked about Philip Dorsett. Um, Hannes, Hannes Grasso um, was released. I mean, we would expect that with Jordan Meredith making the roster. Um, Jaquan Johnson, we spoke about that. Isaac Rochelle, we talked about that. Duke Shelley has been released. Cam Sims has been released. Wow. Damian Williams, we talked about him. And Jordan Willis has been released. Um, and we also placed one more player on the reserve slash injured, uh, injured list. He is done for the season. And I love this move. Dalton Wagner. So Ooh. stashed him away for a nice little year. That was smart. Yeah. I like that. So Dalton Wagner... Is gone for the year. We'll be back, you know, following season. I think this was kind of a, you know, stash and, stash and keep them around type move. Yeah. Um, but the shockers, man, I'm looking, bro, like Tyler Hall. This was a guy that we were talking about could have potentially started in the nickel if they thought that Nate Hobbs was going to be that guy in the perimeter, which mm -hmm. early on during the process, you know. Was there any other guys you're looking at like sh like the shockers? Not really. Not with a lot of these names, but now I want to hear like guys that are on this roster because those will be the ones that are I'm gonna be like, uh, what the fuck? Why? Like, how did this happen? I'm just kind of, you know, maybe I'm just partial to McClendon Curtis. I just thought that he was gonna make this roster. So yeah. I, I don't, you know, what I mean, he played really well in preseason. It's mm -hmm. like, what happened? Tyler Hall, I just the guy provides versatility. We brought him back real quick. Um, didn't really even allow him to hit free agency. That guy was right back with a one-year deal. Hopefully he falls to the practice squad. I think somebody's going to pick him up. Um, Adam Plant is kind of, it sucks, man, because we, we, we spoke so highly of him, you know, early on in the process, right when we got our UDFA class and um, to see him gone. But it, that, that was kind of expected. He didn't show up in preseason at all. Um, the Tane Moody, a guy that we thought were gonna, was probably potentially going to start at right guard. Yep. He looked like shit in preseason. Um, but yeah, I mean, what about the, the guys that were released? Alex Bars, thank God. Duke Shelley and Cam Sims. Damn. Come on. Come on. You know, Shelley, I did not have making this roster, especially, uh, after the preseason, like that dude, yeah. like shit the bed, uh, he did. He did. Cam Sims. I'm not happy about that. Like guy. And I talked about this time and time again, deep threat. Great presence in the red zone with his uh, body's type. Like, uh, I don't get it. Joe, I agree. Uh, I don't know how Amik and Long made it over Tyler Hall. Um, Emma Clinton Curtis getting the boot. Nah, man, I'm usually positive, but I cannot fathom the thinking. Well, in a minute, Joe, we're going to see a lot of these guys are definitely going to fall back to the practice squad, and we'll be able to develop them a little more. You know what I mean? But there may be a few guys um, – on this roster that I'm nervous about. Cause I really have a feeling that new England may come calling with a few of these guys. Um, and at that point we know what time it is, right? Yep. Um, shout out to Joe, man. Appreciate you on a $10 donation. Also, man, shout out to my boy, Perk angle. One of the greatest names on YouTube. Can't believe the bears cut the goat. Peter. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So let's go over the actual roster. I got to oh, find this is, this is going to be good. Let me see. I'm going to go to Raiders.com real fast so we can actually see what it is that our actual roster looks like. All right. Okay. How the hell? Oh, my God. How do you show this, but you don't get the actual 53-man roster? Hold up. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't have it on here. They don't have it on their website? No. No. How, why? They just have the, the initial 53 man roster finalized initial, but then it's not, they don't have the yeah. actual. That's how mm, weird. I think, you know what? I think we can go down this list right here. I'll go through it real quick. Uh, we, you want to do this by number? You want to do this by position? How do you want to do this? Do you think, bro? Do you think? All right. 
Um, you know what? Make it easier. We'll do it by number. So as it stands right now, guys, and please don't kill me for this because we oh, just Scout, got this out. Scout tweeted it. Oh, good. So we'll, we'll make even it even better. easier. Shout out to Brother Scout. Um, the initial 53-man roster. You know what? I'm going to bring up the tweet so everybody can see it. I don't want to read it out loud. Uh, let me do this. Boom. Salute to everybody in the building rocking with us, you guys. It's been a long day of Raiders content. But um, it's a <laughs> blessing, man, to know that we finally have our team, and we're here for it. We're definitely going to talk about it. This is our final roster. And let me see. Boom. Why is it not coming up now? Yeah, Jordan Meredith, though, man, that, that was – that was a shocker. Okay, here not we go. To, not to me. All right. Let me share the screen real quick. Salute to uh, Morte, man. Salute Dax and the GOAT Muttley. <laughs> Salute to our brother Stu as well in the building. <laughs> Professor Stu. Um, I don't know why that dude keeps saying that. Let me see. Um, share screen. Boom. Yeah, guys, I, I apologize. I don't know. There was some type of audio issues. You guys heard me, but you couldn't hear Graph, so I just ended mine. So everything is on Graph's channel tonight. But oh, bro. Same, bro, it's all good. Same routine, y'all. Wipe them feet for big bro. Break them thumbs here. Hammer the sub, smash the bell. Y'all know what it is. We got our brother, man. We got our brother still in the building as well. Let me read this real quick, you guys. All right, initial, initial 53-man roster. Salute to Scout. He just tweeted this out. Quarterbacks, Garoppolo, O'Connell, Hoyer. Knew that. Um, halfbacks, Jacobs, White, Bolden, Abdullah. Pretty much what we predicted. With uh, Jakob Johnson. Um, yeah. Wide receivers, Devontae, uh, Jacoby, Renfro, Carter, Tucker, Wilkerson. So he made it over Philip Dorsett and Cam Sims. Um, he did have a really good game this past weekend. Not going to put it past him. They see there's, something in him. There's, there's a Myers and a Mayer. The, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So we kept three tight ends with Hooper, Mayer, and Jesper Horst there. We picked him over fathering him. Um, here's our O-line at this point. We got Colton Miller, Illuminor, Mumford. We kept Heron. That's a shocker to me. Why? We left. We kept Heron. What's um, his story? What's his story? He, he almost really, got he, he almost got fucking O'Connell killed in uh, yeah. the first or second preseason game. Like, come okay, on, yeah. dude. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't really been the same since that injury that he uh he sustained. Uh, Andre James, Greg Van Roten, which will probably be our starting right guard. Parham and Jordan Meredith is kind of the, the the shocker to me. But you're right, we need that backup center. Jordan Meredith did work. He did look really good during preseason. Actually, mm -hmm. I'm not I can't take nothing away from him. So he definitely earned that spot. Um, defensive tackles, Tillery, Byron Young, our third round draft pick, Bilal Nichols, Silvera, our guy, seventh rounder at ASU made it. John Jenkins, the veteran, a lot of people counted him out. 35, 36 years old, made this roster. Damn. Yeah. I I, look, the veteran presence means a lot and pays dividends in the long run, especially helping coach up these young guys. So I'm happy yeah. that he's on this roster right now. Yeah. Adam Butler, another veteran DT. Um, to help these young guys. I like it. The four edge rushers, these are the guys that I initially had was Crosby, uh, Chandler, uh, Tyree Wilson, and Malcolm Kuntz. Um, linebackers, Diablo, Spillane, Masterson, Bernie, Bolton. Really no surprises there. We already talked about Curtis Bolton earlier. Um, corners, Peters, um, Hobbs, Bennett, Faison, David Long, Amik <laughs> Robertson. So um, <laughs> a few names. That you know, I, I, I David Long and, and, and Amik, you know, they're there. Um, Duke Shelley did not play the way he needed to play to make this team, though. So I'm not shocked about that. What's Jenkins' um, first name? What is it? John. Oh, John Jenkins. John John Jenkins. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, the only surprise to me right there is Tyler Hall. You know, I mean, I, I just I don't know how he didn't make this roster. Um, safeties, Marcus Sepps, Merrick, Paula Mal made the roster. Sims and Roger Teamer. So we kept five safeties. Roger Teamer would be more of the special team guy. We know that. What number is Epps? Uh, 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 Marcus Epps is, was it 20? No, I mean, uh, 26. Wait, Epps? Isn't Epps one? Oh, Epps is one. I'm tripping. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. Um, and special teams, we know those three guys um, that we got. The IR, uh, Britton Brown, Darian Butler, 
uh, Wagner, Walter, Zuber, um, Perriman, um, and Hollister. So these guys, don't, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea uh, where where he was going with that. But um, yeah, man. So that is our roster right there, you guys. That is our roster. Um, and like, dude, I mean, again, like if you look at that, that that looks like. You're like, where's the other half of the team, right? Like, that's I know like- it looks so. It, it looks like there's nobody <laughs> there. So small, yeah. Yeah. Like, what yeah. The fuck. But um, that's our 53 right there, you guys. And, and we're gonna open up the phone lines here, okay? Um, Tucker is 14. Chris Smith is 20. Get you guys to call in. You guys know how we feel already, right? You know, you already know how we feel. Oh, can we do the phones? Yeah, we can do the phones. Okay. I um, just have to get into your chat because hey, I want to say ready. this, dude. <clears throat> During the two-hour break, I was watching um, uh, the new Spider-Man with the kids. It's fire, dude. But I could watch During it. During the two-hour like, break, it I trips was watching, you out, uh, dude. Yeah, like it was yeah. too much going on, bro. It, like, it's like, like, a, and it's like a million shot different Spider-Mans and fucking yeah. <laughs> I almost threw up. Like I like Chris. They shot it like a comic book. That's why. Yeah, God, they, I was yeah. like, dude, man. Yeah. Luckily, Crazy. Chris got home when she did because I was about to fucking lose it. She said, "Man, give me, let me get some shrooms real quick." Shout out to Jose. Bennett is zero. Tucker is fourteen. Chris Smith the third is twenty nine. Hooper is eighty one, and Nesta is ninety nine. Shout out to my dog Jose. I'm gonna ten dollar donation. Okay, Jordan Perriman. Okay, Jordan Perriman. I have no, look. I'm a diehard Raider. I don't even know who Jordan Perriman is. So, there you have it. Um. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> he's there. Fuck, he's there. Shit. Fuck. I know, right? But he's on the IR, so he's gone. Oh, for well, he's half. Yeah, he's halfway. Shout out to Rude, man. Meredith, Heron, Zeus, and Amik all had to go. I just thought, man, you know, Meredith. We talk. We'll talk a little more about him. He definitely did did earn that spot. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm just McClendon, Curtis, Tyler Hall. Wagner got pushed to the side on the IR. He's gone for the season. We're protecting him. He'll be back. But that's low key trip. It's, it's low key a trip, man. It's low key a trip. Where's the uh, Where's the number at? Hammer, you know? In the, in the chat. Okay, let me see. Okay, vote line. Boom. Are we not live on your channel, Stu? Oh, bro, it's it's, it's what, what what's what's vault line? Why, why is it vault line? What does that mean? Because this right here. Is where the legendary content is stored. The vault. Okay. The vault. okay, I got you. I just wanted, I just didn't know if that was something or if that's what it meant. All right. Get your Hold calls on. in, you guys. Well, into the Sea Geek Vault line, y'all. 347 471 It's your night. Pull up, sound off. Let's see what you guys think of the 2023 2024 Raiders 53 man roster. Let's go. I like what Mutation said too, as well. Um, Jordan Meredith earned his spot on the Raiders roster, played 92% of preseason snaps while taking snaps at left guard, center, and right guard, yeah, allowed yeah. zero pressures, 5.2 yards uh, uh, per uh, per carry, lead blocking, and an 83.1 pass block grade. That is phenomenal. So Those, those stats are, dude, like, I always wondered how, how how do you evaluate an offensive line? Like, I know, right? When, when, you have versi- I, I, when you have versatility like that, that's how you can evaluate No, no, it. no. What I'm saying, Hammer, though, is like, Actually, right here. saying that the ninety-two percent and on run plays and like this yeah. and that, whereas before yeah. they didn't keep any stats like that. Yeah. Gotta love analytics. Yeah, I I, I I watched the offensive line like this. Analytics, <laughs> pretty much. I Analytic? hate that shit. Guys, numbers <laughs> up. Call on in. Oh uh, shit, yo, hold up. My bad. I love y'all. I'm sorry. Hammer is to- really disrupting this show today. This is a this is a very fucked up day. That's why. And my fault. Here we go. Our first caller. Tuesday, Call right? from Elite Med Staffing Group. Ladies and gentlemen, Six, it's one. that time Defend of the show. Y'all know what it is. Two. It's time to bring the heat with Elite. What's good? What's going on, Hammer? How you doing, Graf? What's going on, Stu? How you fellas yep. doing today? Doing good. What's good, sis? What's on your mind? Yeah. Oh, come with that hot take. I, I'm going to do my best. My, my hot take. <laughs> I don't know what anybody saw in Tyler Hall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I Tyler Hall, I, I don't. Tyler Hall and Webb, I, I, I must say, from their play last year, even though I think that's how desperate and how bad our secondary was last year, yeah. I saw nothing out of those two young guys. I know they were UDFAs and young guys, but I, I saw nothing impactful from there, so I'm not surprised they got cut. I, I'm not. Um, I thought it would be Duke Shelley. 
over David Long. David Long got the nod. Um, but you know me. I I'm I'm an Amik. I'm a meek girl. I've been I've been I've been howling the meek for a minute and I just knew that he was gonna make this team just based off of his want to. It's something about a pl- players in general who have the the want to to make plays. Yeah, all right, he's gonna make some mistakes. He's a little bit of boom and bust, but who is who? Who are you talking about? Tyler Hall. Oh, okay. Huh? No, I, <laughs> I was just asking yeah. who you were talking about right there, Tyler, Tyler Hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so let me let me ask you this, Elite. Some some yeah. some, some, some surprises. Yeah. Some surprises that you see that made it this fifty three or surprise cuts in your eyes. Ooh, a surprise cut. I'm going to say McClendon Curtis for sure. Um, I mean, everybody was raving about him, the coaches, the players. This is my question. I don't know. I'm going to ask this to a Stu because I don't know. And, and you, you played the game. On the waiver, when they get cut, do they have an option to refuse anybody who wants to pick them up on the waiver roster when they're on the waiver? Ooh. Can they say, I don't want to go there? That's a good, that's actually, that's, that's a, my that's, question. That's a, that's a good question. Um, they change, they, 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 they change it so much. I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like they don't have a choice. Uh, or no, well, fuck. You're going to make me because I was thinking, are they free agents at that point, right? You, yeah, yeah, team, yeah, right? You would, yeah, you would think, and even though there's a waiver, right? Because I'm, this is my logic, fellas. I'm thinking, because if that is the case. Remember, they gave McClendon and Dalton two hundred grand to yeah. bring we came you to bring them here as UDFA's, and so I'm thinking maybe they say, "All right, McClendon, we're going to cut you. All right, we, uh-huh. we're going to do that, but don't sign with anybody. We paid you two hundred grand. You're in our plans. Don't sign with anybody. And once he doesn't, then they put him on the practice squad. I don't know, but jo- I, that's jo- my, I, I, I would, I would my say this: on no, the only the, the, the game. You said waiver no, released. They have a choice. Waiver no, released. They have a choice. Yeah, waiver. Any team can pretty much pick them up dur- during mm-hmm. a certain period, and also it has to do with how many years you've been in the league. Um, but if you're outright released, you're a free agent. Any team can pick you up, and you'll have that option if you want to play for that team or not. Yeah. Well, you you, uh, you brought right. So good- this this will qualify as just being cut, correct? If you were released, yes. If you were waived, no. Yeah. So basically, released. Right, you so have, we call these cuts. Yeah. Well, well, the released that, that you have to have four okay. was it four years or more. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and and you know these young guys are the ones being waived. So they have, they're, they're the ones that have to go through the waiver wires. Got gotcha. you. And and you you brought mm. the point of, of of them of a uh, uh, you know the the Raiders saying hey, get through and we'll re-sign you. The only issue you have with that is you, you got to put a lot of trust in them because if there's a team that wants you and you pass up on them, hoping that the Raiders come back, right. they may not They may not come back. And I know I know. once you're a vested player, um, you know, it used to be three games into your third year that you were vested. Yeah. Um, if you're a vested player and you make the 53-man roster, they could cut you the next week and your salary is guaranteed. So what they yeah. do a lot of the times for mm. older players is they'll cut you and then they'll bring you back like the next week, but then you're basically week to week. Yeah. That's how it was. I don't know if it's still that way. So sometimes that factors into it as well. Shout to GA. He said, if you're on the waivers, you are not a free agent. Tomorrow is basically draft number two in the woods of Ingle. You can't refuse being mm. claimed off the wire. Okay. I didn't, th- I, I, yeah, I didn't think oh. I, that's how we got Gerard Cooper was. Like the Raiders picked him up and he, and he didn't have a choice. It was either yeah. play for the Raiders or you don't play football. But, yeah. But, okay. but, but that but, was probably my only surprise cut, like, like truly surprise cut. Um, I thought they would keep Jordan Willis too, but I guess, I mean, he wasn't impactful enough. Um, yeah. I'm just glad that Greg Van Walton run that right guard job. That's yeah. who I was looking forward to making it just, just because I knew that they knew him from the AFC East in his year with Buffalo and the uh-huh. Jets, and yeah. just knowing what he can do. It's, it's, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. I, I like what Casper said, at least that one more move is coming. There's still 54 players showing in the roster. One more move is coming. Well, I mean, mm. I don't think there really is anything going on right now. We already. Nah. No, we can't grab Chris Jones. No, it says, yeah, it says Raiders have 54 <laughs> players with Jacobs. With Jacobs. Oh, yeah, but but there's probably going to be a player in which I think we're going to put Brandon Face on on like maybe um, like a short term short term IR. So he won't be really accounted to the 53. That's what I'm assuming we're going to do. 
Say he, that again. Say that again. Brandon Faison, our, our um, corner that we brought in this past offseason, we signed him to a two-year deal. He's been dealing with an uh, undisclosed or injury. But last week he had the non-contact red jersey on at practice. Uh -huh. But there was talks about initially putting him on a short-term IR. So we may Why? add. What about the Brock Purdy rule? Doesn't the, doesn't the third quarterback hmm. not count against a 53-man roster? Oh, or on game day, right? Isn't that on game day? Like if yes, you yes, on yes, game day, yes, game day. Carry, game day. You could only carry forty six on game day, right? Yeah, third the third QB don't count, but you're, you're right though. It's in terms of game day. Let me hold on real quick. There. Let me see. Yeah, Hoyer doesn't count against the fifty three uh, Brock Purdy rule, but I'm assuming though, Josh Jacobs is exempt right now. Huh? Let me see. Oh, well, oh, okay, hmm. it's exempt for like a week. Has an exemption. So there we have it. And, and just fellas, before I, I dash out of here, I just want to talk about the trade with Neil Pell Jr. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not mad at that move. I, I know people, you know, we got a fan base that's hysteric about why would you do such a thing. Look, they don't think they, – I mean, clearly they didn't think much of the guy. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and get something in return from a player that you took a, that you took a fourth-round pick on and get something in return instead of just cutting him. And what did – I mean, and Chris Jones, it's not – Bullshit. He's gonna come back. He's gonna come back oh, for yeah. them. Yeah. He's a placeholder for them. He's not. You know what I'm saying? He's a placeholder. Yeah. For, for Chris Jones, so it's not like, oh, he's gonna become the next Chester McLaughlin and all that stuff. No. Like, nah. Well, and, and he's like, also he's a guy that, that, that they, they could potentially, they they can potentially, you know, develop him a little bit. You know what I mean? So if you know, have him. Who mm -hmm. who wouldn't learn? The, who wouldn't want to learn the game behind Chris Jones? You know. So. Yes. Um, right. Salute to sis, man. These phones are going crazy, sis. Let's, let's get a couple calls. Yeah, good questions, okay. sis. Oh, yeah. yeah, shout to Elite. We appreciate oh, you. No problem. As always, All right, man. Fellas. Salute All right. to our family, Elite with the Heat. You already know what time it is. There Salute the big time. I was going to get a Cam Sims jersey. Well, hey, Yo. he may be back. Ladies and gentlemen, our resident meathead is in the building. Shout out to Big Rob. What's good, bro? What's up, fellas? What's good, brother? Good to hear from you, Stu. What's all good? What's going uh, on? Yo, I got some heat for you, man. I got some heat for you, fellas. Okay. Little, little, uh, little content. The content. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you guys have heard the uh, the little the rumors out of San Francisco. I'm hearing rumors that, uh, that the Niners are in talks with uh, AFC West. Or not West, but AFC West. It's team. Cap. Rob, Party it's Cap. It's, it's Cap. This cat, it yeah, cat? That, it, was, it was on Reddit. It's on Reddit. This is a guy that's that, that said that he broke the news about Christian McCaffrey's trade before it happened, and blah, blah blah. That there's there's a big deal on the table with Nick Bosa going to an AFC team, um, and the Niners yeah. and him are so far apart on a deal that it's not going to happen. Cap, cap, I, I cap. Hear cap. That. I heard that. I heard that today too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where, where, where did they have him going? Yeah, I, no, they, they didn't say the team. Undisclosed oh, okay. AFC team. So, uh, I don't, yeah. it wasn't us. We uh, don't okay, have the money. Well, no, of course not. Yeah. 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 Well, well, I, well I fuck up my little can. Well, how about <laughs> this? Do you think we're going to add another linebacker? Because, honestly, why don't we bring our boy Morrow home? He just got released to them. Well, he has to go. He has to go. He, basically, we we can we he's going through the waiver wires tomorrow. I, I mean tomorrow I believe right. So we have a chance of picking him up. So we we can pick him up tomorrow if we're if, seventh, if, right? Yeah, seven. We're seventh six, on the waiver wire. Yep, six teams ahead of us. Yep. Was was Nick um released or was he waived? Uh, tomorrow. No, Kwiatkowski. You said he was released. No, Kwiatkowski. I think he was released. Oh, Kwiatkowski. I don't know about oh, Kwiatkowski. Because oh, oh, I did see the an alert earlier. I think oh. he, I gotta find this now. Let me see. Mar the Mar will be uh, Let me see. Shot the JP. Okay, so no, no waiver wire. Morrow was go. released. He was released. Yeah, go, go, go ahead, Rob. Kutowski as well. Okay. Go ahead, Rob. Do your thing, bro. Oh, oh first and foremost, uh, my condolences about this beer. I know you wanted him to, to make the team. <laughs> my condolences. I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, based on the, the cuts, like it's kind of killing me because I was really thinking that, that Mumford and uh, uh, McClendon Curtis were going to make the team. 
Yeah. Some of the choices on that, I'm not sure about. But we'll see how that plays out. Um, I still feel we're probably going to make a couple more moves. But I'm not sure exactly where. Like, I know we need some help at linebacker. But uh, how are you guys feeling for everything else? Uh, I, I, let me say this. I don't think that there's one player that didn't make this roster that is going to change things drastically. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just keep it real. If we if we can sit here and come complain about Tyler Hall and potentially a Duke Shelley or one of these guys, Jordan Willis not making a roster, I'm cool with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think there's any, any player that didn't make this <laughs> roster where it's like, oh, my God, this is definitely going to interfere – Drake Thomas is the only guy that I wish would have, you know, maybe I think he's going to fall to the practice squad. I, I do. I think the, that we're going to get him back on there, develop him a little bit. But I don't think that there's really this, you know, as Raider fans, there, there's certain players that we kind of like and we, we kind of, you know, move towards. Right. And, and, and that's cool. But there's right. not really any player on this risk on this list where it's like, oh, well, we're not going to win <laughs> this many games this year now because they didn't make the roster. I think the defense looks great regardless. The starters are the starters. Right. You still got Chandler Jones. You still got Max. You got Tyree right. Wilson. I mean, the, the, the linebacker room still looks the exact same with without a, a couple no name guys. Let's just keep it a buck that didn't make the roster. And then you got Peters and, and, and you still got Nate Hobbs. The defense still is good. Marcus Epps. Uh, uh, I'm happy Paula Mal made this roster. Merrick's still there. I mean, the defense is the defense. You know what I'm saying? Like we're, we're really here complaining about depth at this point. Paul so. Mal is a guy that you're going to see used in the box, and he's going to yes. be one of those rotational pieces at the safety position that you just can't keep off the field. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, yeah. What about Jalen Smith? Do you think, do you think we're bringing – you think we'll bring Jalen Smith in front of the look, or do you think that's pretty much done? I would like to. Definitely a guy that we're probably going to revisit. He, he came in not too long ago for a workout um, and left without a deal and then went to New Orleans. So, you know, I'm not – I wouldn't be shocked if we brought him back. That's probably something that we're – we're probably making our making a call, you know what I'm saying? But the guys that we met, we named the linebackers on this 53, they like them a lot. So I, I don't really know if if they would go out and try to get it, you know, a, a Jalen Smith. I, I don't know. Like Curtis Bolton, they like him a lot. And then with the starters, Luke Masterson, and you know, they're running the back. So I, I don't know. I, to be real, if they're gonna get a linebacker, go trade for one. Go trade for like a starting caliber one. Like not not a Jalen Smith, not a guy that's at the tail end of his career because of injuries piling up and all that. Go get a starter. If yeah. you're gonna go get a linebacker, go get a guy that could potentially start for you. And you know, I don't want Jalen Smith starting on this defense. Do I like him as a death piece? Yeah, it's a Notre Dame guy. It hurts my soul to say it, but he's not a starter anymore at the NFL level. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I mean, Hammer, yeah, is, any, is, 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 is there anybody else out there that you're looking at right now that that's out there where you like? Well, oh, we bring talked, him in. We, we we talked about him the other day. If if a, or actually earlier today, if a trade was possible, maybe getting trying to get Devin White from Tampa, but I, I don't know how realistic that is right now. I really, I, yeah, but he can't cover, bro. He's terrible in coverage. What, what, like realistically, what linebackers can cover these days? Like the game has been so much more pass happy that like. You don't really see the 3-4 three, four to 4-3 four, like you used to. You see a lot of nickel packages <laughs> from various defenses, like various teams throughout the league nowadays. Like, I was watching a lot of these games through the preseason. You don't see that base 4-3 four, three, or 3-4 three, as often as uh, at least the old-timers. And, yeah, I'll call yeah. myself old. Would like to. Yeah. That's your Salute. You covered. <laughs> Salute to Rob, bro. We appreciate you, Kim. A couple more calls real quick, brother. All right, brother. Um, shout out to you. All right, shout brother. Take care, fellas. Later, bro. You too, brother. Shout out to JT real quick, too. 16-player practice squad. We are good. Shout out to Big Al. Why not go after Philly's linebackers? We definitely may. We, may, we definitely may, may uh, you know, to make a call or something. I know a lot of people were, were talking about Patrick Queen. Did anybody see Vinny B's tweet? We are not looking at Patrick Queen. We are not looking at Patrick Queen. That is not happening. So just a heads up. That is not on the menu for our Las Vegas Raiders. Let me see. Shout out to Stu doing his homework. We got Malik from Jersey in the building. Sound off, bro. Dirty Jers. Hey, what's good with y'all, man? What's going on, brother? Yo. Not much. All right, I got, like, only two things for real. The first one I wanted to say is, like, I remember, grass, I think it was, like, a couple of lives ago, someone asked you about Winkerson making a team. You said he had zero chance of making it. Maybe I did. I was like, I like Wilkerson. 
Yeah, nah, you did. It was a few. It was like a couple of lives ago. Someone had asked you. I think it was you and uh, you and Wasted, and someone okay. had said a super chat about Wilkerson making the team. You was like, yeah, he got. He was like, he's pretty good, but yeah, he got zero chance of making the squad. Like I'm sitting in my head, like he got the talent, but you know, like I, I was shocked he made the team too. But I was rooting for him to make it because I I see the potential in him. I can he's a New England guy, so I'm like. I can honestly say that I was, I was one sh- of those guys when we signed him that I said that. Hammer, turn was, turn it up. You can't hear me now. There you go. You I go. I was the one that said, like I said it, that I believed that when we signed him, that he was going to be just a camp body. So yeah, me too. I was wrong. I, 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 was I wrong. did an actual video on it where I was like, we just signed a camp body, a guy that knows, you know, familiar with the New England system and blah blah blah. Look, bro, I'm gonna be real. If I had to put bet my life on it, <laughs> I probably would have been smoked right now. <laughs> so you know we, what I mean, we, but we, we, can honestly, <laughs> we can honestly sit here right now and admit that we were realistically wrong, wrong, wrong. wrong. But but I mean, but 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 shout to my nah. guy Jarris, shout to Malik. We we're gonna be wrong about a lot. This is a fifty three man roster. You know what I'm saying? Like so, we're wrong. definitely oh, wrong. Yeah. 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 Wrong. 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 Oh, I'm not. But, I'm not yeah. like hey, well, I'm not going here to bag on you or anything. You feel me? No, no, no. I like how you did that, though. Because hey, hey, uh, you cooked me on a low, and I like that. <laughs> just, just just, so everyone knows. So Wilkerson <laughs> had 17 receptions, 188 yards, a tug, and averaged 11.1 11. Uh, yards per catch. So pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good preseason numbers, numbers, really. Yeah. 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 I, just, I just thought that they were going to. They were going to look at the guy, the big body guy that provides something that, that he doesn't, which is a skill set of red zone threat, a big, big body, 50 50 ball guy. You, they can go up and get the ball. Six five. Yeah, he's only six one. You know, this guy is, we already have guys that do what he that, that does what he does. So yeah. I was assuming go get the guy that fits, that, that, that doesn't have that particular skill set. So I'm, I'm, to be real, I'm shocked that he made this roster, but. Him being a patriot and them going to get him, I'm not. At the end of the day, oh, hey, was he the dude that threw the pass that we picked off? No, no, that's that's Jacoby Myers. He's okay, already okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> no, nah, but but no, yeah, hey, Jacoby. but but Malik, I, I I agree with you, bro. Like to be real, I, I thought there was no way in hell he was gonna make this roster over Dorsett, um, or Cam Sims, or even Keelan Cole. I, you know what Wilkerson, I mean? So Wilkerson and Dorsett were the two receivers that I didn't see making this roster. Yeah, I thought that Cam Sims was gonna be that guy, like. I, I could honestly see, I, look. I will always admit when I'm wrong about something that I'm I've predicted, and that was dead wrong about both of these. Shit, I, I think most people were wrong well, about. I think that's why. Here. Well, Dorsett's I, not here, so I was right about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that last preseason game was like his audition. Like they, that's why he was getting so many targets. They yeah. wanted to see what he can do. Like, yeah, that was like a, a clear indicator. But my second thing was was also like I I'm just happy to me. David Long, I'm, I didn't expect him to make the roster, but I did want a Meek to make it. I didn't give up on Meek. I think a Meek really is like Meek. A Meek can be what Duke Shelley was on the Vikings last six games. Like I think, like he, now his the second year in a because, like you said, he didn't get a fair shot, bro. He been he had three different coordinators his first three years. Now he got the the same defensive coordinator. I think he actually going to show and prove. Like yeah. a Meek, I just I'm rooting for a Meek. I think he really is like a dog and a love. And he's a Raider, so we need to root for him. And he's homegrown talent. He's he's one of the only few guys left that we actually drafted from previous regime. You know, from previous regime. I, I'm here for it, bro. I want him to succeed. You know, what I'm saying it's just, you know, giving up. He's a boomer bus guy. You know, what I'm saying, and, and that's what he is. And I just hope that he can make more big plays than giving up big plays this upcoming season. You know what I mean? Like that's that that's all it is. And yeah. and real quick, shout to Glenn. Yeah, I Tom would though. Yeah, exactly. And and and, and from one other thing you said, Malik. It is tough, right? Stu, how 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 easy is, is it to say we just had a guy go out there and have 10 receptions for 122 yards and a touchdown and we moved on from him a week later? That's tough, right? Like oh, yeah, yeah, it, it is. It is. I mean, but, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, but they seen they seen something in him and said, "Oh, okay." We, that w- cool cuz imagine what he looked like with starters out there. You know what I'm saying? Like so yeah. I, look, hey, I'm cool with 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 Wilkerson making the roster. Is it a shocker? Hell yeah, definite shocker. But whatever, field the best players available. And if he's one of them, if that's what Josh McDaniels thinks, I'm cool with it. You know what I mean? So, but uh, salute to Malik, my dog. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate you too, bro. Hey, hey, and keep calling in and calling us on our shit when we're wrong. Say we're wrong. You feel me? Salute to my dog, Malik. Yeah, bro. I got y'all, man. Appreciate you, brother. Shout, shout to Glenn real quick, too. 
Uh, I think they, they did the they did the tuck and stash. Wrong. Wrong. There it is. There it is. That's good. Yeah. Wrong. 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 Salute to the 830 people in the building. Make sure you guys like and feet. Hit that subscribe button. Also, we got a, we got another caller in. Shout out to JT Douglas with the hammer default picture. <laughs> we got on the phone. Is that hammer? T yeah, is in the building. <laughs> Look uh, like hammer, bro. You, yeah, what's good? What's good? <laughs> he said, and then I farted. <laughs> Yo, Severe, what's good, my brother? Oh man, I'm hanging in. I'm chilling. How about y'all? Ah uh, man, you know, hey, another day in 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 the Raider world, King. Oh Tuesday, man. Yeah, what's yeah. what's on your mind? Man. Yeah, nothing. Hey, uh, man, let me just hit you with hit you with this. I know y'all. I know y'all got a lot of people calling in, man. Um, Take your first time. off, I knew he wasn't keeping Tyler Hall, Amik, and and Shelly. All those dudes are small as all get out. So we can't have a. Uh, uh, you know, a, a dwarf cornerback uh, crew. So I figured Long or Webb was going to make it. I had Webb over Long, but I guess they decided to go with David Long instead. I knew Cam Sims wasn't making it. People talk about those catches he made and how, how acrobatic they were, but they were that because dude gets absolutely no separation. Like, dude, if you, you got to be good at 50 50 balls if you ain't getting no separation. So the way Wilkerson came in immediately was able to separate immediately, like, his ability to, to run routes and find soft spots in the zones and, and, and get separation. As soon as I saw that, I was like, this dude, this dude's making the squad. Um, you're, you're not wrong about that. What else? I'm surprised all, about Jordan Willis. Yeah. All the catches that, that Cam made was contested. Like he wasn't, there was no real play where he created it on his own. You're, you're definitely right. You're definitely right. So, so I mean, I, I mean, I, I know that was a fan favorite and I know a lot of dudes wanted him. I think it was just because of, because of that size element, but I think that's kind of overrated especially in this McDaniel system. Like, look at the, the, the past receivers he's had. How many times has he had guys w w with that kind of size? I guess I think they tried it when they kill Harry, and he has the same problems as Ken Sims. Like, yep. can't get yep. any separation, has to depend on 50-50 balls, and, you know, he, he didn't work in New England. So, um, you know, I, I, I knew Sixth Frame Frail wasn't going to make it. You know, I, I figured John Jenkins was. I, I I didn't think I didn't think we was gonna get any compensation for him. So the fact that we was able to get a six round pick for him, I think yeah. that's a, a brilliant move by, by Ziegler right there. Because I, like I said, I had him and Matthew Butler both getting cut. I didn't think Adam Butler and John Jenkins would both make it. I I, th I figured John Jenkins would make it, but I'm happy that, that Adam Butler made it. I'm happy that Amik made it. You know, he, I gotta he's say a dude, I called that I, severe. I I, 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 I gotta say I called that. If you go back and John, watch John Jenkins. Show. No, no, I said that we were going to keep John Jenkins and Adam Butler, both of them. I, I go back to the okay, with being Big I, Mike. Even Big Mike was like, "Okay, be both two veterans, huh?" But you know what? I, 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 I figured Willis over the, one of those guys. So, so I, I had yeah. Willis making it over one of those guys. I, I thought they they that they'd value Willis as a guy that could play the five technique, slide in, you know, on passing downs. Um, and, and rush the pass. I thought they'd want to go with that element. But they opted to go with the extra defensive tackle. I yeah. think you said it earlier, I've been saying it for like a week. Faison will make the 53 and then go on IR and, um, you know, with the designation to return. So they'll probably bring back one of these, one of these cornerbacks that they cut or maybe somebody else, you know, maybe another fan favorite. But I, I figured yeah. that he's probably going to be announced that he's going on a, on a short term IR shortly yeah. and they will probably bring another guy back. I could um, definitely see that, that man. But that's pretty much all I have to say, man. That's pretty much all I have to say. You know, I, I'm, I'm mad my boy McClendon Curtis didn't make it. Um, but I think him and him and Dalton Wagner are going to be the future of the right side of that line, man. So, yeah. um, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I look forward to seeing him on the roster next year. My brother Severe always calling in with the heat as well, man. Salute to Severe, man. Appreciate you, brother. <clears throat> Let's get some other calls in real quick. Shout out to T Severe, our guy. Yeah. Um, hey, 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 don't. No, 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 no. Don't show him any attention. Yo, to touch on if like, that guy's name starts with the an A and then it's an N and a D and a Y. We don't know that man unless he's gonna pull up on this screen. We don't know him. Do not give him a phone number. That man needs to pop up on this screen. I'm not hearing. I'm not hearing his voice. Said, <laughs> go ahead. To touch go on ahead. what Severe said in regards to the the small cornerback room. Like, <laughs> shout out to the Raiders in this in this picture that they got during the last preseason game, man. Yo, Wilson is a man among boys, man. God damn. You said, you said starts with an A, ends with a Y, and has fucking N and D in the middle of it. 
Is that what he you said, said? Send the link. <laughs> <laughs> we got no. another caller. Oh, shit. I don't know who you're talking about, man. That's right? Crazy. Well, we did have another caller, and they we, hung we, up. We, we, had, we had another little brother that was in Mount Shilmore, and then he just up and abruptly left, and he just kind of just left us high and dry, and we don't really, you know... We don't really pay him any attention anymore. Like even when he's in the chat and he talks, it's like he's, he's talking on them to them hoes, man. He's on them hoes nowadays, bro. Yeah, yeah, he do be on them hoes. Shout out to John, man. With the defense set minus any fluid future pickups, is Graham still on prove it uh, to be or escape? Oh, he pulled up fast. Okay, we got somebody backstage right now. Um, the if they underperform, did he get his guys? He is on watch regardless, John. Patrick Graham, even if he got some guys this year that fits what he does, he is definitely going to be the scapegoat if this shit goes left. I promise you that. What's up, bro? What's good? We got to bring, bring the negativity, man. You look oh familiar. I, was, I don't think I've ever seen him without a hat on. Oh, I don't crazy. even know who the fuck this dude is. He looked like fucking uh, uh, American History X or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what, what color hat do I want? Oh, man. Uh, I got it all. White. Purple. What the fuck? Come on, give me one. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll put them off on. Green. On. Yo, Arizona in the building. Sound Yo. off, bro. Bring me on. Let me know. You're on, this bro. Is <laughs> Hell Hold on, yeah. guys. Just give me one second. Hell yeah. <laughs> Salute to JT. What's up, brother? All right, hey, I got to talk money. about Peter McCormick. Somebody give me their opinions. Why? Here McCormick. Why, why would you do? Why would you do Practice that? Squad. Just JT, bring it back for me. You, you're a very disrespectful got the, human got being. Got the moves. You got the jiggy and Joe. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? <laughs> Yo, JT is tweaking, bro. Get JT out of here, bro. Take <laughs> money. Let's go. Salute to our brother, JT. All right, I'm going to let somebody else call. <laughs> yo, he is too much. Hey, yo, hold on, hold the phone lines real quick. Hold them real okay. quick. We got we have our brother, our special guest in the building, and I want his opinion on what's going on real quick, okay? Um. Me, Stu, <laughs> Hammer, we all talked for five hours earlier, right? Andy, how you feeling, man? What What's the good and the bad of this roster right now? And then we'll take a few calls afterwards i gotta get my little bro's take on this shit short, short and simple disappointed uh i feel like i feel like we had a ch to really i feel like what we've been shown was their plan was a long-term plan which to me described youth i don't mm -hmm. i don't really think that we went that route you know um i think that I, I highly disagree with keeping Brandon Bolden around. And I know that that's no shock to any of you guys here. Uh, keeping Brandon Bolden around, I don't I don't care the relationship that you got. I don't know what you do to that coach and that general manager behind closed doors. Mm. But, uh, but, but mm -hmm. Paul, I, I, I think that that right there. Mm -hmm. I, I think that, <laughs> I, I think. Damn. I think I think <laughs> veteran route. I think if you're gonna go the veteran route, you should have kept Damian Williams around. If there was any other running back that you were gonna keep on this roster that wasn't uh uh, uh Jacobs and Amir Abdullah, it should have been sincere McCormick and Williams out of those two. Only two that showed anything. I, I think that uh you know, I was optimistic. Um, just I'm just looking at the list right now. The quarterbacks, we all knew what was going with the quarterbacks. I'm at the running backs right now. I was optimistic in Zemir White. I told y'all the other day, he doesn't make anybody miss. I'm yeah. I'm I am yet to see this downhill nasty runner that we've been advertised. I don't see any of that. What what separates JJ and and we had to learn it the hard way, right? We thought that we could do it without JJ. Nah, motherfucker. When <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were wrong. <laughs> yeah, wrong. I, I say it. We were wrong. wrong. I said that. Wrong. wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> I am sorry, Josh. Thank you for signing that twelve million dollars. <laughs> like, please come back. <laughs> That's what I got. Because what separates Josh is. We can have a, a, a play that gets blown up behind the line of scrimmage, and he will fall forward and get us in a second and eight. 
this 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 that separates the great, right? Yeah. Brandon Bolden is horrible. He offers us nothing. Zero, nothing. In the first year, I agree with the move. He's a veteran. He could teach you the system. Cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. We are past that. He should have been up out of here. Maybe you keep McCormick around or, or whatever the play is. I would I would have just kept Damian Williams. Honestly, that's what I would have done. Yeah. But but I don't get paid to do that. So whatever. Um, wide receivers. I don't disagree with any of the wide receivers personally. Uh I think I think that Christian Christian Wilkerson had a fantastic preseason. Definitely. I think that uh if you look out of out of all the other guys, I mean, he stands out. Uh, he stands out. I, me personally, I think that he's, a, he's very similar to Jacoby Myers. It's just that he plays on the outside. Jacoby's a slot guy, you know. I think he's very, very similar to Jacoby. He just plays that X receiver, you know. He yeah, plays, yeah. And and we know honestly, who is that X for us? We don't really have one. We, it's Jacoby at this point. But, but here's the thing. We know that from from what we saw in preseason, Trey Tucker could play anywhere, slot, outside. Yeah, definitely. We, we know Hunter's best game is on the inside, but he's mm-hmm. top, top of the line corners playing outside, right? So we paid Jacoby and Hunter $13 million. I'm not mad at Christian Wilkerson making the roster, if I'm going to be honest. Um, tight ends, those were all locked in. Yeah. Uh, so me personally um, – Horstead, I I understand it. He is the athletic, the pure athletic one out of those. Uh, if we would have kept a guy like Folderingham that we undraft as an undrafted free agent out of Utah last year, yeah, I wouldn't have been. Uh, I don't care. Those two are yeah. what. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, this preseason from Cole Folderingham is not going to get him a job anywhere else. He'll be right no. back to the practice squad, which Agreed. is which is great. The offensive line is where I have the biggest problems. That, that this is mine. Now, now, and and, and you, you used to play offensive line, so I want this is where I want to hear. For for me personally, we went into the season knowing we have an injury waiting to happen at quarterback. Phone calls, you guys just just wait up a few minutes. We got to get I'm this. Gonna, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it temporarily on. Yeah. Do not disturb. We have guys. a stranger on, you guys. We have a guest on, and we want to see where his mind is with this. Give team. me ten minutes, and I'll leave. <laughs> just Ron, huh, I don't care what you traded for that motherfucker. Get him out. Oh. Bye. Uh, 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 Jordan Meredith, who? Get him gone. Well, he had a good preseason. I don't give a fuck. Bye. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> good. Greg, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If so, who's the backup center? Parham. Parham. I didn't think about that, but Parham could have did it. Parham. I know, but but okay. <laughs> what we know how the NFL is. What if these guys go down? Then who's the backup center? Well, well, that's what I was telling you when I first got on the screen. I thought that this organization's plan was because they have job security, they go for the long run, right? They go for that year three. Let's actually make a shot at winning the whole thing year three. Whether mm-hmm. than whether than going eight and nine and getting a middle of the fucking pack draft pick again that won't alter our roster. He'll just be a good role player to the defense or the offense. Yeah. Okay, we're going with the fucking <laughs> Jordan Eridus and Justin Haran. Motherfucker, what? Like, those are bums. Like, yeah. they're horrible. Why? Why? What is the problem with let? And, and I think McClendon Curtis will make it back to the practice squad. I know him and Dalton Wagner had some of the biggest markets at undrafted free agents, and teams will be looking. Yeah. Um, but I think that right now it is such a hard time that teams are trying to just get their own rosters situated. Agreed. Putting too many waivers in for anybody that isn't a veteran, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Um but those horrible. Horrible. I'm gl- I'm glad we finally got away from one roach, Brandon Parker. Fuck. <laughs> um defense yeah. de- defensive line, defense line. Oh, yeah, we talking about this, okay? Adam Butler, I love it. Dominant. Adam Butler is dominant. I think that him and Nessa J. Severa should be at the hip. They need to be like this. Those two need to play the nose, and they will play the nose for us, but that could get real spooky. Max yeah. 
Kelsey, we knew what it was. John Jenkins, we knew what it was. He's the only true nose that we have. Um, who else is on there? Nesta, John, Max, Adam Butler, Chandler Jones. I was actually surprised to see Malcolm Kuntz make the team, honestly. Mm-hmm. I, I was surprised. You know, I don't think anything has changed from year one to year three, unfortunately. I, I think that the same power we saw year one is the same power that we see year three. Uh, he's got the tools. I just yeah. haven't seen him put it together. Um, you know, Bilal Nichols, the dude didn't play one down in preseason. We knew what was happening then. I've been a big fan of Jerry Tillery since he signed. Byron Young, I I rewatched the, the film multiple times, and I texted you guys in the group chat. Yeah. <clears throat> Against Dallas, I think the secondary – just the second and third level is what failed us against Dallas. The pressure was there, and our secondary was getting cooked. Now, I understand there's not much a DB can do if your coach is telling you, give them a seven-yard cushion, let's run a four-yard route. You're going to get beat every time. Yeah. Now you got to hope for your linebackers to, to to tackle them, right? That's not sound football. I, I don't hey. like Andy, real quick, Laura, Buddy Bear, it starts, I believe, you can start putting your practice squad team together 12 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Yeah. That's when that's when uh, the roster starts taking form. Go ahead, Andy. Keep talking that shit. But, but yeah, whatever. What, what, Go on, bro. Um, linebackers, I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. Linebackers, I think all of those, who, let's be honest, who else deserved it more than Curtis Bolton? Nobody. No, not really, nobody. I love Drake Thomas. Yeah. He didn't deserve it more than Curtis Bolton. No, nah, you're right. Yeah. And Curtis Bolton has proved it to us in regular season as well against the best of the best in the league, against mm-hmm. 53-man rosters. I'm not mad at that. I know some people think that Drake won't clear waivers. He will. I'm not you, you, you and I had that conversation not too long ago when you and I had a – a video chat in regards to his measurables. And I felt that that was going to play a factor well, Curtis in Bolton whether he was going to make it. Curtis yeah. Bolton is not big really himself. But he, but he also already has, like you just said, he's he already a- has the next level experience. Yeah. So He's been in the league. I think, shit, I think Amari Bernie damn near might be our best. Robert Spillane's our best linebacker. Amari Bernie's better than Devon Diablo. Ooh. Fact. I don't care what okay. else. Wait, wait, so he, what'd you say? He just said Bernie is better than Diablo. For sure. Amari, Bernie's a linebacker already. Diablo is still learning the position. Safety converted. Yeah. Like, we converted him once he got to the NFL. You talking about a game that already feels fast for rookies? Imagine that and you got a position change. Fuck. Uh, no. Yeah. Bro, that's yes, they're both wrong. That's Go why Ed Simmons should have been a Raider. Um, <laughs> cornerbacks? <laughs> cornerbacks? Ooh, we these cornerbacks looking real trash. No lie there. Um, Brandon Faison, I don't care nothing about this whole sign him to the 53 just to put him on the IR just so you could bring him back. He doesn't thread the needle for your roster to be doing all that. He doesn't. He doesn't That's do that. A fact. That's a fact. He does not do that for you. Give the chance to the kids that worked their ass off, that were not hurt, that deserve the fucking position. Yeah. Get get this bum David Long up out of here. Get this Roach Amin Robertson up out of here. Back him up. Well, I just said Roach is crazy. <laughs> Nothing to do with Amik's height and stature that had everything to do with his. He ability. won't go away. That's what Andy means. He won't go away. He it's kind of like herpes. <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, hey, there's children present right now. Just give me give me two seconds. Uh stop the Burt, man. Andy turned it to the pessim- a pessimistic fan. Randy Quaid on Major League. You know who I'm talking about, Stu, right there, right? You have to make me watch that movie tonight now. That is funny. <laughs> yeah, I, pooper, scooper. yeah, I gotta reserve. Look, you were hey, I'm gonna be honest, you were cooking until the Bernie and Diablo talk. We, we, we gotta we gotta wait on that. Oh God, what did I start? I don't gotta wait. Shit, when have you ever seen the De- Divine Diablo make a play? Before he went down, he led the team with like a hundred tackles before he got hurt. And so did Jonathan Abram. The motherfuckers on a practice squad. I don't oh, give a wow. shit. Right, here we you go. Know, and like like that don't mean nothing. And and, and <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but but bro, 
When have we ever seen Divine Diablo make a play on the football? Not in preseason, even. We've seen it three times for Amari Bernie. Yeah, so, that's true. So, so my thing is, okay, you're starting corners: Jacorian Bennett, Nate Hobbs, and uh, and Marcus Peters. Your starters look nice. Tyler Hall, I never had him making the roster. Amik Robinson, I don't have to talk more about Amik. <laughs> Me personally, somebody who consistently flashed and and paused, but ball skills since last year, since we uh, got him as an undrafted free agent, it was like, it, in my opinion, Bryce Cosby, for me, is one of the best nickelback corners that we could have kept on the roster. Last year, he was great in the preseason. He did more than Amik ever did whatever, Amik made the team. This last game against Dallas, he looked like one of the only people in the secondary trying to come up and make a tackle, even against big running backs, against that white fullback that was killing shit, <laughs> that was running everybody over. Loki was, yeah, he was out there. He was out there smoking shit. In, in the small... He the, was bucking. And, and, and Bryce Cosby, Mr. Five foot ten, Bryce Cosby in the nickel, over there hitting shit. We need that. We got a Meek Robertson liability. Arm Mr. tackling. M- Mr. I'm going to show the number 21 backwards every time because I'm going to be running, trying to get the ball instead <laughs> of fucking having good coverage. <laughs> a Meek, a Meek, man. I, Bro, I, I, I never thought that Bryce Cosby was going was to come up in this, in this conversation at all. But uh... Bryce Cosby's a baller. He was uh, just talking. To, we were just talking about him the other night, bro. So I'm not surprised that he brought up Cosby. He's he's okay. a baller. He's a baller for baller for sure. Or you keep Tyler Hall, but shit, he didn't do shit in preseason. Fuck it, whatever. But, that, but he was he was he he, he had some reps at safety. He moved around a little bit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I thought that Tyler Hall was a for sure thing. I, I I'm shocked that he didn't make I, this one. I thought with how little Sam Webb played, he was a sure thing. Yeah, yeah. And he was and, one of the first guys announced. I was like, damn. But maybe they. Whatever safeties, I'm not surprised with the safeties. I'm, just, I'm just more pissed about our corners and our linemen. Yeah, like those, those are important. Yeah, like, like, what, what are we gonna say that that Max Crosby is gonna get through a triple team on every play? No. What are we gonna say that Marcus Peters is gonna get a pick six on every play? No. Yeah. These guys gotta get sticky paws. They got, they gotta cover. Like shit, man. We're we're think about this. We're banking on a rookie. We're banking on a rookie, a nickel corner, and a and a and one veteran at the corner spot. Definitely. What? Definitely. Yeah. Like what are what are we talking about here? Now this all could be an overreaction if Jordan Meredith's bum ass got a season ending injury tomorrow and we get, you know, we get a nice little guard in there. And out of nowhere, Brandon Faison take he pack his lunch up and, and take his ass to the IR too, but yeah. bro, I think I think this roster: Brandon Bolden, Justin Haran, Amik Robertson, David Long Jr. Nah, motherfucker. Yeah, I, I I didn't realize the Heron. I, I didn't get that. I didn't get keeping him around. I, look, I disagree with you on the Jordan right. Meredith thing. At first, when I seen his name, I said, "What are we doing?" Then I then I was like, "You know what? He did have a good preseason. I heard some good things about him at training camp." You need that backup center, but no, I agree with you on certain. I'm like, I'm like, I, I don't know. My, my thing is though is that I, I think that we all had the plan or at least the thought that this regime was in it for the long haul. To me, that means youth. Yeah. And we're keeping Brandon Bolden's and we're keeping fucking David Long's and and like. Well, David Long's not too old. He, he's still he's still fairly but, young, but. But but you, you 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 look you're looking at two old defensive tackles and Adam Butler and John Jenkins who made this roster and then you got rid of Matthew Butler and Neil Farrell Jr. <clears throat> two guys that you just drafted last year, Matt- you know. So, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's trash. Cheeks, horrible. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Neil Farrell actually had I ju- I think I sent it to you the, the day of the Dallas game to to the chat. That dude was probably he was probably gonna line up there week six. End up starting, bro. Neil Farrell's a good player. We prop no other team in the league was probably going to give us a six round pick. So, we, so, so we just said fuck it, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. But I personally don't think that 
he was a friend. He was on the fringe. I think he was going to make this team. Yeah, I think when Kansas City said, we'll shoot you at six, they looked desperate. It was like, you know what, take it. Take yeah. it. Like, you know, it is what it is. They're like, but to me, that is shit. If I'm Kansas City, bro, if, if I'm over here making transactions, they, they're really not trying to pay Chris Jones. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salute to everybody here in the building. Yes, Andy is back with, with the smoke. Um, salute sure. to little bro. Just for five minutes. Yeah, well, let's let's get some calls in. I want to hear Stu's opinion on a lot of this shit too. I know. No, I, 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 no I, I, I would like. I said I like I like hearing what Andy has to say, dude. I, I mean, some of the stuff I don't have an opinion on. To be honest with you, I don't. I don't know enough information on it. But I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say this. Um, if I'm listening to him talk, I know he does his due diligence, and I know he believes in what he's saying. So yeah, I trust in what he's saying. I'm a yeah, dumb. You know? I don't know shit, bro. Well, I, don't, I, I mean, me personally, I, I can agree with you. You know what I'm saying, but but anybody else can't. You know what I'm saying? It's not. I'm an idiot, bro. I just nah. You came with that fire, bro. And, and to be honest yeah. with you, you had, you had a lot of points. And uh, look, I, I just I, I would have let me put this. I would have kept Tyler Hall over Bryce Cosby. But if you're missing out on both, and you and you keep fucking Amik Robertson, oh my god, I can't yeah. stand that dude. Cause here's the thing with Amik, man. He's going to get cooked 75 times. The one time that his pinky actually hits the ball, punching it out, they're going to say that this dude right here is fucking, uh, fucking, fucking Jesus Christ. Like, act like it's amazing. Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> I, 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 well, I want to, I want to, I think Andy somewhat kind of hinted around it, but I, one of my biggest concerns is, is, is that linebacker room. I mean, you talked about Diablo. He's not a linebacker, right? He's, he, I mean, let me, he, not that he can't play it, but he, he naturally he's a safety, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. At least an outside linebacker, not a Mike. Um, but some of the other, I mean, like, 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 uh, you know, Chris Smith and some of these guys, I just, I, I was not, I wasn't impressed with, with any of our linebackers, man. I just, that, again, I thought their angles were bad. I thought their penetration was bad. I thought, um, just even them just being the guys out there like lining everybody up. I I just I think that position, but I wasn't impressed either at all with the corner play either. You know, I mean, so no, you definitely talked about that in the last live about how these guys were taking all the wrong angles and I just yeah, that's just that's uh, that that's a concern because that that has nothing to do with their talent or speed or or their ability at all that's that's just that's just vision and eyes and, and knowing again down in distances and formations and stuff like that so i just when i look i'm just thinking like when okay you know, all right we saw that we saw the threes and fours and i'm getting ready for this game against denver and i'm like on defense besides the d line who am i excited to go watch yeah like, as a fan marcus peters but that's it Right, I mean, it's not like there's a dude like, okay, now it's time to let the little kids put the kids away and let the big boys come up and play. It's like, I'm, I don't know who the fuck we really. I mean, hey, <laughs> shout to Andy, safety man. Wise, safety wise, hey, 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 Stu, Andy has stole everyone's optimism in the group in the chat. No, no, no. Someone said, what, what does Andy think every player's got to be? Deion Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andy, I'm canceling my Sunday ticket. Just get some new in. <laughs> what up, Urban? Salute, right, salute, according salute. to Andy, according to Andy, we're gonna go 0 and 17. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just oh gonna... shit! Come on, man, don't do that because he's gonna give a. What, what was your prediction? Three and 14. Oh yeah, at the beginning, but you know, we got, <laughs> we, got we got we got Marcus Peters and you know, uh, Josh. Uh, uh... Thank, thank God for Josh Jacobs signing that shit. Uh, my God, you're the best, man. I I also agree with you about. I would keep Williams over Bolden. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I haven't seen Bolden do shit. You know, what I'm but saying? the problem is Brandon Bolden's job was never in question. And yeah, that's the I, know, I know. That's the problem, right? Like, yeah. that's the issue when you owe him what two and a half, three million dollars. Yeah, it'd be a special teams guy and in a, in a backup, an emergency running back. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like he's I, he's the know. little bitch that runs out there when you got a sec, a, a third and fifty seven. And you're like, all right, you're the dumbass is gonna get smoked because <laughs> everybody's seen the film. We haven't ran a different play on third and fifty seven. Screenplay. We going yeah, we're gonna do a little fucking yeah, a little fucking drop screen. So, so you're the big motherfucker that's gonna get all eleven dudes fucking 
tackling your ass. You're the dumbass. You're the dummy. And when when you get hurt, we don't give a fuck. You're still in your two and a half million dollars and uh, happy days. Fuck. Hey, man. It is what it is. Hey, I here, just... here was another thing, though, that, and again, I know it's the third and fourth guys, but, you know, when Greer was scrambling, I'm like, I'm waiting for guys to, like, come yeah. up and hit the motherfucker. Like, I mean, where, where are these dudes at? What are they doing back there, bro? I know the corners were getting blocked, but I'm like, what the fuck are the safeties doing? <laughs> yeah, come, yeah. Up and, come up and fuck someone come up on these yeah. motherfuckers. That's what I was saying. And, and and when I said Bryce Cosby, I was more giving more of an example. But I actually saw that, like, how do you not get tired of seeing the same motherfucker over and over and over again? Raider Nation news today. And you just Man, don't. They hung up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you can tell you talk. Whatever, whatever y'all were talking about. Go ahead. Quit watching. <laughs> I don't even say no more. All I know is that this rock is uh interesting. Okay. I mean, but but realistically, are you do you see any players that were left off this roster that's gonna make a major difference? Mm, a major difference. You had to think about it, so no. No, Duke Shelley sucked. Been saying that. Why? Why? See, like, you always got to pinpoint the guys that I that I was like, you know, what I mean, like, you know, well, because it. because you know why the film the film the film proved it, bro. Like everybody was over here bullshitting about his PBUs. Yeah. So the fuck what, dude? He didn't start because he was ass. Yeah. Like, he looked. He, he looked bad. He looked bad. He looked bad. Right. Like, and he was out there a lot during preseason. And this was a guy that we were talking about potentially starting. Let me ask you this. Sam gets no reps. David Long is the starting outside corner along Duke Shelley all throughout preseason, but he makes the roster? What? Yeah. yeah. I- explain that to me. At some point, I just want the guys that deserve it to get in the game and play. <laughs> JT says, Andy, do you ever get angry? <laughs> Well, un- hey, unfortunately, Andy, you know that that's not how it works, right? Politics, man. Yeah, you know, you know the best players. The oh, best player, the guys. Who has broke play. that down a million times on these live shows about that, the ins yeah, and outs of this unfortunate. shit? Unfortunate, but that's just that's how it is. Shit, that's I mean, fuck, yeah. you know, some dudes suck dick I, and some I, dudes I, don't. <laughs> Odin probably offers a lot of. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What'd you say, Andy? I said Brandon Bolden probably offers Dave Ziegler and 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 Josh McDaniels a lot of fun outside of the facility. Oh yeah. my God! Shout out to eleven. Last season, Bolden scored the first touchdown for us, and Bolden is actually great on special teams, which I agree. Not a fan what of him. Is, by what, any does do, what does he do on special teams? What what it, like tackling or is yeah. he okay? He's yeah. he's got a gunner. He ain't no fucking linebacker, and he ain't kicking that bitch. How good, <laughs> how much can he be on special teams? Touchbacks. Let's, let's get a call. Let's get a call in real quick. I want to see Andy lose his shit when somebody calls in. He gets touchbacks. <laughs> he gets touchbacks. <laughs> that was Stu's best joke I ever heard him say. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Shout out to Barry. Use this super chat to get Andy a happy meal. You don't eat that you shit. No Brad, more. Brad from Pennsylvania is in the building. What's going on, bro? That was more of a crap. I think it was more. Fred, of a- Fred, Fred. Oh, my fault. Fred. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Threat. I think I think Tillery. Nobody's talking about Tillery. We can get some pressure from, pressure from Tillery to the middle. I don't think our back end needs that much. Needs to be that good. What? Nobody's talking about Tillery. Well, we did talk about him, and Andy Andy has been a fan of him since we signed him. I was the same way. Like this was a guy that we wanted, and we were going to try to trade for, but the Chargers are like, "Nah, that's a dub." And luckily, they waived him, and we yeah, we get first Crosby and. We get Crosby some help. I think we'll be right. Tillery is a solid pass rusher too. I think his second year right. in this system, and he came like middle of the season last year. I think he's definitely going to show and prove this year as a pass rusher. That's his strength. He, you don't play. You don't yeah. play the run well. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean. But he, and, he that's the- it. and we had this conversation earlier. No, I like, know. I get it. I get it. The rest of the think it, that we yeah, I D-Rod. came on a little late. I'm an, I'm a Notre Dame guy, yeah, so I, I, I'm we get more pressure up front. Our back end will be all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. No, definitely. Definitely. Is, is it Fred? Fred? 
Is Fred, yes, FID. Yeah, no, 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 a- absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, if you can have a, a stellar, you know, front four or front five or whatever you want to put it, yeah, you, you can be par in the in the back end of it. I just – do we have – I mean, obviously we have two great, you know, really good defensive ends. Um, so c- the potential for us to have a really stout defensive line. I mean, shit, that San Francisco game, what, they had five sacks? I mean, they were, yeah, they were in the killing. first half. Like yeah, four the first times half. Yeah, so, yeah, you can yeah. – you're right. It's a, it's, a, it's a mute point if if we, we can be That'll talking about – That'll definitely help the back end, though, for sure. Hey, Fred, I, I got to ask you this. Has anybody ever said it – and you family, so I'm, this, I'm just talking. Has anybody ever said you sound like Buffalo Bill, bro? He puts the lotion on <laughs> his chin. Listen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you dance around with your dick between your legs, dog. You <laughs> Shout out to my dog, Fred, bro. 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 <laughs> we, right, love you, bro. we love you. We love you. All I gotta bro. say, Stu, is we are, baby. We are Penn State, baby. Oh, let's go. He said Penn, Penn State. <laughs> yeah. We, well, we don't. Luckily, we don't play Penn State this year, but they do have one of my friends, a, a fellow oh, border maker, coaching their wide receivers over there uh, with Taylor Stubblefield. So he and won Anthony, the argument. Oh, and no. Anthony Poindexter. Anthony Poindexter's over there uh, as the secondary uh, defensive coordinator. So, hey, hey, Stu. He hung up 30 minutes ago, buddy. Hey. <laughs> he's still listening, though. See, but he's he still putting the lotion on its skin. Y'all are fucking terrible. Put, put the, the lotion, lotion on the, the skin. No, 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 put the lotion on the skin or she gets the hose again, right? Put the, lotion the <laughs> put the lotion in the basket, Fred. He's over there fucking trying to put a couch in the fucking back of fucking his van. That, that's, I think that's Andy's pickup line right now. Isn't that what he does with the bitches with the, <laughs> in the back? No, oh, I'm falling over or whatever. Oh shit! Fucking, Yo, hey, shout out to Fred, man. We appreciate you for calling in, brother. For real, for real. Some, a, <laughs> hey, what, what did y'all think? Of, I need some help with this pull-out couch. <laughs> what did What did y'all think of? Uh, you got JD in the building. Thing? Salute, salute, salute. Oh, you dirty motherfuckers! What? Yo, you're on yes. air, bro. Um, oh. Shit, I ain't know that, man. Fuck on. You know? Hell yeah, man. Hey, motherfuckers, what do you guys think about all this fucking uh, dropping the fucking DTs? So the mechanics are fucking themselves or, or they're not. It's, they just dropped the two DTs last year, right? Bro, you got to wake up, bro. I think you still sleep. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Le- I heard left to right. No, brother, I have a. I gotta, uh, I gotta have a call, on, man. My, my fucking brainy don't work like you. Uh, they fucking put the screen. Hey, 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 so, hey, put, so, uh, hey to, to answer your question, yes. yes. No, 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 I agree. I agree. I agree, yeah. bro. Facts, yeah. like straight up. Yeah. Hey, salute to you, man. Have a blessed night, King. I hope everything in life great happens to That's you. Big. Dude said he just gotta have a coma, and you fucking assholes. No, I couldn't dude. hear anything, so don't put that on. Right. It don't sounded, on but it YouTube. sounded like it though. No, I agree with what he said. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Is anyone there? <laughs> the fuck you guys doing? What the fuck? Let's go, we man. are definitely getting canceled today, y'all. This Let's shit get rolling. It. <laughs> Gotta have a stellar back end. The author from Fresno in the building. Salute, salute, salute. Sound off. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Yo, yo. So, how do you feel about our defense tackles? I'm not, I'm not too excited about it. Tackles I'm happy with for the simple fact that Graham is getting what he wants in regards to these guys. These are the depth that we have right now. You have guys that have certain strengths, and he's going to put them in in certain down uh, distance situations. Um, you'll have guys, again, like Tillery, the pass rusher. You have a guy like, um, like some of the other guys that are good uh, run stoppers. It's going to be a constant rotation you're going to see, but I've said this, and now the 53-man roster is out. Patrick Graham, regardless of anybody wants to hear this or not, mm-hmm. he's going to be that scapegoat unless his defense really shows up and proves themselves this season. Yeah, because yeah, I know last year we a lot of fun, you know, them tackles ain't pushing up. That center of Max and Chandler, you know, he's just running around and they're not getting fresh up the middle. Or, you know, he ain't worth it in the running game either. 
I think we're gonna end up seeing a lot more, gonna we're gonna see a lot more pressure in the league than think. we did the last couple of years, realistically. I think now this now that yeah, some of these guys some, some of these guys are in their second year under Graham's scheme. I think these guys are have already made the adjustments they needed to in their game. And again, this will be the show and prove for him. But I think you're going to see a lot more pressure than you did in the past with this interior defensive line. Thanks. Yeah, I think he needs to, he needs to blitz a little more. We'll see, man. Well, I mean, ball, from that, when you say blitz, are, are you asking for pressure from the, the linebackers? Or are you asking pressure from maybe like um, some of the some of the secondary, maybe some like linebackers or quarters. I just don't know if our linebackers. You know, mix it up a little. Fuck, that scares me, man. Because when you send those blitzes, the only line I think a blitz is Blaine. Right? I mean, yeah. yeah. And when you blitz, you're leaving that back end out to dry, especially if they can pick up if they can pick up everybody. You know, so well, Andy, you don't, Andy, you don't think that Bernie can? Bernie Sanders? Bernie? Amari Bernie, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're talking politics. <laughs> Come on, go. Hey, hey, hurry this shit up, man. My COVID kicking back in. Yeah. No, I, I don't think I'm already <laughs> I'm not, not I don't I don't think that if you need pressure, you don't rely on Bernie. No. Okay. If I, I need to send that fifth guy, I'm sending Spillane nine times out of ten. Okay. You know? That's what's up. What the, 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 thing that I, the thing that I didn't like is that uh I know it was preseason, but I just hate losing so much. When the fuck are you gonna set a spy up once once your once this quarterback is doing whatever he wants? Like these dudes weren't deep. These guys were not showing shit. Like you could see I, how vanilla that offense was the other night as well. Like, but but that's you my, had Mick Lombardi I, calling the offensive plays. Like, I, I don't give a shit, Hammer. We I, I, like you tell him, you tell him, fucking Andy. Like, oh, like. Oh. Like don't fuck, you, fuck hammer, fuck like, you, Stu. <laughs> play to win, bro. Like I don't know if that makes you an asshole or what, or just a competitor. But the fucking playing for shits and giggles, I don't like that, bro. Like no, I, I get. No, that. I agree I with you. That, that. I, 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 I totally agree with, with dudes. Dudes be ass grabbing out there way too fucking much, dude. Like, <laughs> and, and, and guess what? You still got your bitch ass cut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with you. I hate like dude. <laughs> They said, here, Drake Thomas, here's the clipboard. Cut. Ha! <laughs> Bye. Yeah. They let him play his dumb ball plays and said, Why? Yeah. Deuces, <laughs> motherfucker. Let's get one more call in, bro. I got some fuh that I got to attend to. Shut the fuck up. It's because of you, Stu. Fucking asshole. That shit, dude. I, like, Yo, dude. you're in the vault. Sound off. You're in the vault. Hey, it's Hug D. Okay, John. John, what's up, brother? Lil John. Hey, what's going on, Graf? Hammer. Good to talk to you, Stu and Andy. Yeah. Fuck yeah, uh, man. First question. First question. Josh Jacobs heard he's going to pitch count for the first game against Denver. What do you think that pitch count looked like? And what do you think his carries and yards might be? Think 10 to, you think 10 to 15 carries? In carry? regards to the. You think 10 to 15? Yep. If 10 to 15 carry? If they put them on a pitch count, yep, 10 to 15. And I'll say just under 100 yards. Ha! Huh. Smoke. I'll say, I'll say 70. What's a, pit, what is, what's a pitch count? How many times is he going to get the ball given to him? He only gets six practices. He just came back. There's only six practices until week one. They're going to be very – take a kind of a wait-see approach with them. I, I, said, I said he wasn't going to be really going full, full, you know, until Pittsburgh week three when we're back home. I so, think – out there for most of the game because of game planning reasons, you know, that they want to they want to show the defense that they gotta, you know, yeah. out for him. I don't think he's gonna touch the ball that much. I think around 15, yeah, 15, 12 to 15 touches. But I mean, yeah, but what the fuck does this Denver game not matter? I mean, this motherfucker, oh no, it does, it definitely that's what does. I'm saying, I mean, he's one of our fucking premier players. The motherfucker better be ready to tote that bitch like someone said 30 fucking times, a buck 85 and two tugs. Now, let me say this: if he t if he if his first few reps he just takes off the where he left off last year, give they're him the ball. Now, if you got that, give they're him the ball throw that back shit out the window. Up. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, but you just don't want to get him hurt, Stu. You just gave him twelve million dollars guaranteed. No, He's coming I, back. I, I mean, no, I, I, no training camp. 
You know what I'm saying? You know better than anybody. Football ca- football shape is different than regular. No, I know. I, I know. I know. I would just, it's just like. You're old school, Stu. You're different. Well, I know, but also too, I just, I mean, right, Andy? I mean, right. If, if He's our fucking guy. Don't you, don't you want to. Old school, you pay somebody $12 million on $12 million of production. There you, thank you. Yep. I think, yeah. Yeah. I don't get that, but well, at the same, I, I look, I agree with both of you guys, but at the same time, if that was the real case and his count would bad business, that's just bad. He, no, it is, but at the same time, like we saw this last year, the first few weeks, and he wasn't holding out last off season, but he really wasn't getting that many carries the first couple of weeks of the season. But like now, if you think about it, with all of a sudden this comes out, oh, he's going to be on a pitch count for the first game of the season, then you guys should have came to a deal. A couple of weeks ago, like before this uh, preseason finale, that way he could have gotten a facility, got that work in. Because the one thing I, I do understand from their standpoint is them protecting their assets is some type of soft tissue injury in that first game because they already are overloading them and they shouldn't have done that. JJ's a volume carry back, though. He needs touches to produce. He's no, not- no. Andy's Alabama, got a point. Alabama, Andy's that's what he was. He Last- didn't get a lot of reps. NFL. Last year he was, NFL, last year he was sick in the NFL with 340 car- uh, uh, NFL, carries. NFL. 340 carries, that. and he made up the for 33 percent of the team scrimmage yards. Okay, but all I'm saying is he didn't carry the ball that much at Alabama, and he was still a first round draft pick. Correct. That's Alabama. You know what, Andy? Man, take your ass back in the house, man. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> second, I second question, bro. guys. Second John, question go ahead, is- bro. Hey, hey, real quick, John, before you do that, read, 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 hey, hey, real quick, Andy's name on, on, on stream yard right now is retired. I, I just wanted to say that. But go, go ahead, John. Go ahead. <laughs> <That's> hilarious. Second <laughs> question. Go ahead. Because we're playing uh, deplete Broncos offense, and, of course, we're going against, you know, Danger Russell. Uh, he's, just, he's gone. He's washed. What do you think uh, the turnover ratio might be? You think we get a couple in that first and uh, and second, what do you think their total yards might be? Hold, hey, hold on real quick, just so you know, uh, um, Jacobs averaged 20 carries per game last year. So I think 20 would be a good 20, 25 in this game, I think would be good. Okay. Um, um, you want to start out, you want to start off fast, right? You, you want to set the tone week one with this new defense, right? Yeah. So, Hannah, what you got? I yeah. think you're there with a bunch of on, hurt I'm, wide receivers, I'm right? I'm going to say total yards for Denver is probably going to be. It's going to be under 200 yards total. Oh, wow. Russell Wilson. Russell I love Wilson. That. Russell Mr. Wilson. Mr. Unlimited. Russell Wilson is going to throw an interception and also fumble one mm-hmm. time each. I got 300. I got 300 yards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. I, I think he With no wide here. receivers graph? I, I think he'll utilize the tight end a lot. I think they're going to run the ball effectively. We were getting gashed. Uh, our starters were getting gashed. Even though it was just a one series, I'm not going to act as though you know that that's going to be what it is. I, I got them somewhere closer to 300 yards. I think Russell has 200 in the air. They they probably put 100 uh, 100 on the ground. How many sacks are you giving Max Crosby in Week One? I'm giving him. Ooh, that's a good question. I'm giving him two. Okay. Two, but I, how I, many but sacks for the total? You, or do you, you asked about picks, though. John. You asked about picks, right, or turnovers. I, I agree with Hammer. I think yeah. I think we'll get a fumble and we'll get a pick. Th- that's that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna say two turnovers. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, 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 hopefully, Chan gets the Russ. He's owned Russell Wilson in in the past. In, pa- in the past, maybe maybe we can get a nice little. Bro, this is what I see happening. All right, Cinderella story for Tyree Wilson. He's gonna sit Garrett Bowles on his ass. I like get that. A, and get a strip sack in his first. In his first game as a as a real NFL, for me, edge rusher, okay. and then and then does I think Derek, that, and then does I Derek come up lame with a groin injury. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then but then I think that our I think our linebackers get fortunate a lot this year. I think that uh I think that um you know what I I give the I I give Diablo the pick. Who's their number one right now, Judy? Right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> What? Who's, they're not All right. that shit you just talked about, Divine Diablo. Did you not just hear what I said? I said he'll get lucky. I never said he'll be good. But he got a pick. That's, he caught a ball. Oh my god! Jacorian Bennett gets the pick, man. Oh, two rookies flash now. Week one. 
Jacorian Bennett, he gets the pick. Judy, Judy is their number one receiver, right? He's not playing. That's what I was gonna say. Bro, when is the fantasy draft, bro? I don't know nothing about that. Hey, I want to <laughs> make a point. I want to make a point right now. I I I I believe a lot of our well, maybe not a lot, but there is a big portion of our success is gonna hinge on <laughs> how fucking how fucking um Renfro plays. Ooh, fair. Okay. I really think that if he plays like we know he can, I think that's going to be a deadly ass offense. But if he's doing the shit he was doing last year, bro, that it's going to hurt us. That's the thing, though. Last year he was improving a lot. Now he's got a former Patriot receiver and Danny Amendola on that coaching staff that'll coach him up and try to get him to do that shit less. Yeah. But also Jimmy Garoppolo. It's going to be Hunter's going to be another one of those sneaky weapons for Jimmy G in regards to quick slants, uh, drag routes, the short what? passing shit is going to, yeah, he should I be able to thrive think, in. I don't think Renfro can be sneaky. I mean, who doesn't know? The way he cooks right in front of you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not, he, we, he was sneaky three years ago when everyone saw a little fucking white dude from Clemson out there. No one gave him any fucking props but now i don't think you can i mean they got a game he, he put the league on notice they know who he is yeah yeah and i think but, I, but, but that route running is still still so extreme that he, he can he can he can make some big plays an orthodox yeah. for sure it's definitely an orthodox nah but shout out to our dog john man total yards against broncos i appreciate you guys all love brother oh yeah What'd you say, Andy? Yeah, I said uh, to answer his, qu- his other question. <laughs> I think the total yards that the Broncos, the Denver get is two two twenty five. Okay, <clears throat> so I, I have around two seventy five to three hundred. Because I'm a, I'm gonna be honest, if Russell gets three hundred yards of offense with that surrounding cast, he may be back. So Heron's a fucking scrub. What that Andy will never be back again, man. We got to pour out a 40 ounce for Andy, man, when we get done with this live, man. We, we only do guest appearances. He's outside now, though. <laughs> Retired. That's a bar Retired right there. Still, yeah. still spitting. Still spitting. Let's get one more call in today, you guys. One more call. Bro, Andy, I- stick around for one more call. Stick around one more call. All right. I just want that fantasy draft to happen, bro. We got to make it happen. Look, if you guys do it, turnovers. if you guys set it up and I don't have to run anything, I'll, I'll join. I thought you Hammer. Do- Come on, bro. Yeah, I thought you guys. Still, still you playing? Yeah, I'll play. Yeah, I but, but were, Stu, I but you, Stu, I thought you had it set up, bro. Stu, Stu, if you want to play though, you got to pay for my entry. Why is that? Because that's just the rules. <laughs> uh, you got to help me with my lemonade stand, man. Nah, it don't work. You no, know, like we can't all buy fucking drop six six hundred on a fucking belt and shit like someone can in this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, Mister Playing Victor. Again. Nick, Nick from the Bay Area is man. in the building. We got somebody from the crib. Shout out to Nick. What's going on, brother? He's like talking. So, uh, so do y'all think Aiden O'Connell uh, gonna be a uh, QB two? I do. Even even if they don't have him as QB two, yes. He's QB two, regardless. He he sh- he yeah. showed enough. He showed Brian enough. Hoyer's career is if all else fails. Well, I, I think I, I think I, I, I if I remember correctly, I think I saw something where Hoyer, Hoyer's fine with just being the fucking Hoyer. Don't give a fuck. He's getting money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hoyer, so, Hoyer yeah. didn't come here to be a. He don't even want to play a down. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. Last yeah. year he was behind Mac Jones and Bailey Zappe. This yeah. year he's going to be the same thing, right behind Jimmy G. <laughs> and Aiden O'Connell, like so, he may be labeled as QB two. Trust and believe. God forbid if Jimmy G goes down, they're gonna look at that bitch and say, "Aiden, get your ass in the game." You have to. I don't His want. Name is- I don't want to. I do not want to see that at all. But I know yeah. that is Brian. If all hell, if all else fails, Hoyer. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, if all else <laughs> fails, do you think um, Christian Wilkerson Wilkerson get? Do, do you know he, he, he to, to the coaching staff? Obviously, Wait, what do you think? How much love does Wilkerson get? Look, he how many snaps? How many oh, snaps? how many snaps? Oh. He's uh... about eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about week one. We're talking bro, about this bar receiver, bro. This receiving core is deep. You got DeAndre Carter, we're Trey Tucker in front of him. How many? Yeah. How many? How many snaps he gets week one? Is it week one or just are you uh, all yeah. year long? Oh, week week one. Oh yeah, about eight. Week one. 
about eight. Sounds okay. about right. Okay. I'm gonna I'll say, say this. six. An- another another key, I think, to the success of our team, like I said, is, is Renfro. But then it's getting our tight ends involved, bro. We need to get our Three. tight ends fucking involved. Hundred and ten percent. Yeah. 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 Hooper needs to get his shit together. If we can get them fucking dudes rolling and shit, bro, that's yeah. tough, man. Yeah. And we got some, we got some fucking guys that are fucking, yeah. that I think are pretty good, you know? Mayor, Mayor can be that guy. Cause we got those, we got, we got some stuff. Hopefully bro. Renfro can have another thousand yards. Well, you don't want, look, look in this offense, he, you're not, he's not going to get that. You know what I mean? Like, I think Renfro's looking at, I mean, what do you think, Andy? I'm thinking 700, 750, 750. Hmm. What's the most catches? What's the most catches he's had in the season? Yeah, he had he had a, he, had a, he had like a, a thousand or eleven hundred that year. But Rugs was gone. We had nobody out there but him and Zay Jones. Like there was he had, he was receptions, stru- receptions. He was up there, Stu. I think he had hundred and ten. Okay, no, that that was Waller. Oh my god, Waller had the one ten. He was the one that was up there with Tim Brown's record. Renfro, Renfro. Uh, oh no, it was Waller, bro. No, it was Waller. No, that it was, was Renfro. Waller. All right, it was Renfro. It was Renfro. It was Ren- let's t- it was Renfro. Okay, Hammer. Okay, it w- it was Renfro. Um, no, nah, I think I think Ren- could he get a thousand yards this year? Nah, I, I like like seven hundred. Yeah, twenty. So twenty twenty one, he had 103, 103 receptions. That's his most. Mm-hmm. Fuck forty nine. His rookie year, fifty six, one hundred three, then thirty six. So that one year just is like fucking. He, he got that bag. Of, he got that bag. Yeah, it kind of came out of nowhere. A hundred, a hundred and three receptions. That uh, that don't sound like hundred eleven to me. Well, Fuck you. Waller, he he was the one that got close to Timmy's. It wasn't Waller. Uh, hold on, Waller. It, yeah, Waller. it was Waller, bro. Look no, it, it wasn't. Look Y'all don't up. know shit, man. And, Andy, you retired. Lead this shit. To, hey, to, all I know is that ninety eight um, is closer 20, to one hundred three than one hundred twenty. 2020, Waller had 107 receptions. Ah, oh, what's the what's the record you're talking about? Timmy's 110. Record 110. Let me see. That's what that's I thought. Record, that's you, now you gotta look it up for, for confirmation. Now you don't trust me. I, I don't trust you at all. You motherfucker. That seems low to me. 110 is the all-time. Oh, oh, that was the pandemic year. Yes. Okay, I'm talking about the year when Renfro had that many receptions. I'm not talking about. 2021. 2020 and 20. I'm talking about the year that Renfro had to be the guy. Here, here goes the backtracking. You're right, Graf. Okay. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I know I am. Fuck you, Andy. I'm about to eat this pho. I'm out. <laughs> so, salute to you, caller, man. Appreciate you calling out, me, buddy. Yeah, 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 thanks yeah. for calling in. Shit. Hey, yeah. Hammer, set it up, Hammer. Yeah, no problem. I thought you had already set it up, bro. Me? I don't do. I don't do anything. I've never done. I've, I've, I I did a fantasy football maybe fucking thirty years ago. I think once. Damn, bro. Yeah, we will we will talk about this off air, like so we can figure this out because we got we got two of our boys that are fucking sick as shit right now. We got to figure out what's gonna work for them. What the fuck does that mean, Stu? It means yeah. that you gave me COVID and left and went back home and just lived your life up, regularly. Bro. Shit, buck up, fucking drink some fucking uh, orange juice and let's go. Hey, hey, that's exactly what I got to say. That's exactly what I got to say, Stu, when you say, I wish I had 549 to spend on my <laughs> Buckle up, make that, squeeze them lemons, and get some money. Hold Why on. they got to make you all sassy and shit, bro? That's that. I, see, I ain't like that, bro. You know I got hey. to find Ricardo B's comment in the chat from before. Hold up. Hammer, don't, month, buy, man. I'm Hammer, don't buy that belt, my boy. People are starving in third world countries. Look, I'm going <laughs> to... I said this on Graphs Live. <laughs> I said this on Graphs Live uh, earlier, and I'm gonna say it now. Like, I thank, appreciate each and every single one of y'all that were DMing me asking me, "Am I gonna get it?" And now you guys got me thinking more and more about getting it. No. Or no, shut up. No. Or Hammer's a dick. He heard about people in third world countries and said, "Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Damn. I'm going to get it." <laughs> and I'm thinking about potentially doing something where I give it away to. One of you. So what are we talking about? Right we'll now? put something. We'll put something together sometime soon. We're hey, talking Hammer, about it. It'll, it'll be hundred dollars. It'll be and, a, it'll be a raffle or whatever. But you wanna give yeah, up? we'll we'll do a giveaway for one of our viewers, one of our loyal viewers. That's it. I'm not getting it myself. I got the OG one right here with custom Raider side plates. 
I'll do a giveaway. Oh, you're, giving like, that, oh, you're giving that belt away. That one I'm not. The new one is. Yeah, the, the new one that, I will. The 565 okay. one or whatever. Okay, yeah. Hammer Biden, you want to hand out stimmies? I'm right here. Hey, hey, Andy, real quick. Hey, this super's for you right here, bro. God forbid Heron needs to come in for Colton, but as a swing tackle, when you need an extra blocker, isn't that okay? <laughs> you should have kept McClendon Curtis, bro. Shout out to Pace. That, that, that's, what, that's what you get right there, Pace. Just, nope. <laughs> bro, Heron. Mayor Munford, bro. Heron ain't it. He shouldn't even be a thought. Yeah. Heron ain't it. Heron ain't it. Salute to everybody here in the building, man. I did like six hours now today. I'm, I'm tired. Hey, unless he gets hey. help in 12 minutes. <laughs> we need to go. Yo, real quick, what's up? You go, We going to put it together or what? I, I'll, I'll play. What's up? What are we doing? It's, it's got to be hammer or wasted, bro. One of them got to set it up. Hey, but set it up on the, on the sleeper app. <laughs> hey, you, that, now you're talking shit that I don't even know, bro. Hey, oh, Jose, we can do that. Oh, wait, you... Hey, we can hey. use the belt of the championship for the fantasy league. <laughs> hey, so you know when the when the, when the, when the, the coma dude hung up on us? Someone, someone said... Uh, he, said Man, he, really, he really said he just got a coma? He said, yeah. damn, he said damn King, he, he hung up on your ass like Fred did the stew. <laughs> <laughs> Fred did fight. I was trying to answer Fred Click. I was like, oh, Yo, right, hey, that shit was hilarious, bro. Hey, his Red voice was killing me. Hey, my bad. Hey, Red brother. Hey, look, I'm sorry. If you really got out of a coma, my apologies. But the last thing you need to do is run to YouTube if you just got out of a coma, bro. Like, like. If he was in a coma, he probably think that we still got dots going from ACDC no. and Club Mac getting pick sixes. Bro, he sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger having sex. I, 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 I. Like, I was like, what the hell going on, bro? Like, yeah, you're, you're, you're fucked up, right? I, 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 come hey, in, you're, I. You're, 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 you're fucked fucking... up. Set up the fantasy draft hammer and Merry Christmas. Can I make a fucking statement? Here it goes. going to leave. No, I'm not, no. Ah, uh, he was, but he was, but he ain't going to do it. No, I'm being serious. I wish, I wish that fucking Annie didn't leave. Can we stop with the fucking positive motivational fucking YouTube videos and fucking clip short clips of uh, today it has like the music in the background it has some dude fucking carrying sandbags around and shit can we stop with that stupid shit so does that shit not bother you we need more negativity right yeah like what the fuck man like I don't need you fucking trying to sh fucking shove a rainbow up my ass to get me going in the morning bro like god damn it like hey you know what hey yeah you talk about these you talk about these two right here what are you doing with your life? Yeah, like you. What the? F hey, hey, man, look. Hey, listen. Hey, man, it's all right. Yeah, you just you just sounded like the dude from the Everest College commercial. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen? You. Dude, my, hey, Mike. Uh, Mike Epps. I, I get to the chopper. Mike Epps had some shit from 2011. I was watching when he was doing live in Detroit, and he brought up that. What you doing? You just sitting at home. What you doing? You ain't doing nothing. Yeah, that Everest oh, commercial. Fuck, you ain't doing shit. <laughs> Like yo, why you getting? Why you yelling at me, bro? Like, oh shit! You at home hey. doing nothing anyways? You watching TV in the afternoon? A the any you anything you guys are offended by today? Blame it on the COVID, man. Salute to my brothers. We will be back next week with this show. I love these calling shows. I'm gonna be real though. We need some more football. We need some more football. What not not le less next less I, I, I less less that. And more. What football. you mean more football? What you mean calls? Oh oh well. It's just right now, dude. You know how it is. It's just it's the fucking, it's the preseason, right? Yeah, so, nah, I already know. Fucking, what I what are we gonna? I get it. I you get know it. Man, like I fuck. Shout out to my dog John on the way. I love you guys, man. Support you both all day. But to be honest, Stu brought me to you. Oh, and follow us, follow us, Stuart. Since he popped. Hey, I did live YouTube. last night, bro. I did my no, first Stuart. live in a while last night. And, you know, you text me and was like, "Are you up?" I was asleep when I woke up. No, I was I like, "Damn." No, I know, I know, I know, I know. But if anyone, yeah, I, I just talked a little bit about the the preseason and shit like that. So if anyone wants to check it out, I got it on my my channel. We still gotta at some point do an alumni uh, recap too. I know, no, 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 definitely, absolutely, we do. And we were supposed to do a show yesterday, you guys. Me, Stu, and Murph. I didn't feel good. I hit up, I hit up Murph. I had to um, cancel it last minute. We're gonna do it next week. So we'll be redoing the Murph. Uh, the Graph and Stew show with Murph. A lot of people have been asking for it. 
So we're back to, um, you know, getting that going. So next week we have Murph on the show and I talked to my brother. We, we're definitely going to get uh, Sanjeet back on next week as well. So no, we're gonna we, be we definitely need to do uh, uh, the, a recap of that weekend for sure. Yeah. Shit, well, whenever you're free, we, we could do it. We could do it tomorrow if you're free. Yeah. Let well, me know. Just, just let me know if you got some time, bro. We'll do it tomorrow or the following day. Yeah, whenever. Let me know. I'm good. All right. It's all good, man. With that being said, Stu, my brother. Tomorrow's always, Wednesday, right? Today's Tuesday. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Hammer, as always, bro. You Hammer. created the show. Thank you for, yeah, for bringing me on and being a part of it. Um, salute to the chat, man. We just had some fun today, you guys. You already know what time it is. Go check out the final 53 man roster. It's on Raiders.com right now to see who officially made our team and who didn't. Other than that, man, we love y'all, man. We appreciate you guys, as always. Wipe them feet on the way out. Hit that subscribe button. Also, subscribe to Hammer. And also, subscribe to Stu's channel as well. Yeah, just George right? Tiger. Someone, someone wrote, he, Stu's going to hit you up at 4 a.m. <laughs> he definitely will. Hey, Hammer, real quick, on the way out. Raider Nation news. Right Boom. there. Raider Nation news today, y'all. We on that road to 10K. Y'all see right there. Let's go. Let's get it. Salute to everybody in the building, man. We appreciate you guys. We out. One.